Blessings to all of you. Namaste, Guruji. Namaste, Ma. We were making some modifications because it's only two weeks old after setting up the satsang studio, like ambience. So we have been arranging. All the fine details are being with, met with every moment. Upgradation is going on mm. to a certain extent. Now it is set. Mm. There is uh, Purnima. 
ವೈದೇಹಿ which thing in you is the real life the authentic life that is lived by you who lives in you as your authentic life you have a name and that name is for your form and you say it is me mine i am all this and we have been seeing in the past six uh, techniques also five koshas and these five koshas are segregating themselves into three bodies of different layers the grossest is the physical body is it the life is it our life no. the blood that circulates in your veins is it the life of you or the palpitation of the heart physical heart is it the life or any any of the inner organs what is it that in this body is our life this is the outermost layer we see it as a gross physical body with a name and a particular form okay and who is the identifier immediately comes the mind intellect and the ego culminates into one subtle mental body they call it as mental body that's all the mind inseparably entangles or the body without the mind cannot exist so this is the next immediate underlying sheath or the physical or the uh, subtle body which permeates throughout our waking state as our intimate feelings as my feelings i am living and this i am carrying it for uh, for me okay i am carrying it for me this is me like this it has been going on is it is this that authentic life no then what else is left over nothing but the deep sleep yeah no, nothing but like the, the so called awareness or the the words what that we actually use like consciousness mm-hmm. or like you know mm-hmm. the awareness so Mm. definitely not the body mind the inseparable mm. body mind mm. um but um th- that that authentic um that that authentic life mm. is coming out mm. through this body and mind ah uh, it is expressing itself through this Self. body and mind through this yep. subtler body called the mind and the overcoat for it or the cover for it is the gross physical name and form and the real person who lives is the inner mind the subtler one fully permeates this gross physical body with moment to moment identifications without this body it doesn't have a support to identify it doesn't have a prop grip on anything if you if you name an identification in the external world as a relation or a thing or an attachment in the form of money pride 
status qualification and designations whatever we have acquired here all these things actually are the expressions of the same our physical body name it's named you are named as by the he it is the manifestation of the same name with various issues of the external world through which you were in our mind without without ever disconnected with the physical body very very casually very very naturally jumps into them touches on to them lives through them and the identification grows stronger and stronger you are not able to disidentify or even even handling or doing anything about that identification in the form of certain practices also bring more bondage more attachment it is like a gum or a glue and both uh, both the hands all the fingers are smeared in it soaked in it in the gum and you want to remove you want to relieve all other fingers of the other hand through these fingers and already this is got in that this got entangled this got stuck all the fingers wherever you touch it grows more it aggravates more and this is a physical example even in this physical example we, we don't find a way some other third factor some other person who comes there you don't do anything let me do it like that you will have to simply without touching your hand start doing start completely uh, erasing through some stick or some other method finger after finger after you will have to remove all the gum or the glue isn't it yes yes the same case applies here also you just can't do anything of your own on your own mm -hmm. this is all the more uh, not like the physical gum which is obvious for all our sensation and perceptions of our jnana indriyas that's what we see we see our hand how we are stuck how powerful the glue is how it is, you are not able to even shake your fingers stretch your fingers so that the gum can be taken out removed nothing is nothing can be done but all the things are sensationally you feel everything because it's your body it says i am stuck in this gum gum my fingers are caught i am trapped i am not able to relieve on my own the fingers are yes. if you join both hands even they will get stuck they will stuck yes. you may not be able to remove that those hands separately at all that would be the case here these things happen in the non existential subatomic level that is what is mind non existential invisible intangible imperceivable imperceivable the moment you try who the twaidegi who was happy a moment ago a while ago who was the twaidegi who, who was suffering or who was stuck in some other feeling if you if you try to look for her you won't find anyone and uh, you cannot uh, you cannot uh, have a grip on the seer or the investigator in you also who suggests this okay who wants to extricate or who wants to see why you were suffering a while ago or why you were happy who was happy a while ago who was suffering a while ago if you try to look for her within you you don't find anyone at all 
nor the seeker who wants to find the investigator he, he doesn't come to your grips you are not able to comprehend a researcher or an investigator within you even while the search is going on that is why it appears like a maze game a game of maze okay, okay. that is uh, it is in the night time you are stuck in a forest you are clueless about which direction is what how the east goes or how the west goes because it is midnight or after dawn or after dusk okay you are caught in the forest so this is the case here all the more the trouble some is uh, the thoughts themselves are darkness that is why this just to be practice a practiceer less watchfulness in the form of a phantom like phantom like you shouldn't go seriously also you should not set another vaidegi inside of you and start uh, developing her that's to look with yes guru ji hmm, like hello. exactly like how you said like you know hmm. when we look for someone like you know sorry hmm. when i look for hmm. someone like hmm. when i'm like closing my eyes and like meditating okay who hmm. is that like you know meditating who is like you know getting that thought hmm. yes there is there is no hole there is no grip there is no one there but hmm. then hmm. in search of that again the chatter starts so we should not even go that like literally there is no one no like you know question marks or doubts we should not even go there so we just have to let that thought go is that is that correct or yeah yeah absolutely right there are a finer finer fine tunings are required there as you say you you are after the chatter of thoughts uh, or the person who constantly immerses in thoughts you are trying for her who is that person who is continuously sailing on the thoughts then what happens is uh, you don't get anywhere you don't get anywhere and you start getting doubts uh, about the emptiness blankness you will land immediately because you are sincerely doing that is that is what is shown by your statements you have been sincerely attempting but what happens is you don't find anyone there suddenly there is blankness or emptiness and that emptiness is also not less lit to prevail and suddenly jumps in the doubter from within uh, yes. who says uh, oh, was this the case is this the person there seems to be none there there doesn't seem to exist anyone there at all it is something vacuum blank here the finer things are required what is the finer thing you should always be behind those eyes or the inner gaze inner gaze is not deployed with two eyes because we always correspond seeing with our physical two eyes whereas right now you are nodding you are you are understanding something this understanding eyes from the deepest core he descends from the deep sleep state stillness and silence immediately into your intellect that intellect eye is only one eye single eye it is not physical it is invisible intangible eye so that immediately understands this realizes this also and from there on it it uh, jumps down to the next uh, immediate uh, lower level lower layer that is what is mind full of thoughts even thoughts there move with only one eye mm. a single thought has a single gaze single eye it just sees that while seeing itself while this when the thought itself as an eye when it sees itself there is again blankness that is also an eye actually 
you have gone back to the intellectual level level now see you 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 have pushed yourself into deeper intellectual level it is still still a more still a more confident layer mm-hmm. okay but yes, one should have the strength to be there mm-hmm. without you should not term it with a name or a thought that there seems to be nothing is this the place where i have to arrive at is this the meditation is this what is called as just be what am i doing all existential doubts will suddenly arise they may not even configure themselves into thinking mode but in an instant insightfully you will get all these doubts or some other state where you are not able to move but you don't want to be there you are afraid also suddenly sometimes sometimes we get afraid we get frightened we get frightened but again and again what is here advised by the realized is just go regress behind one who is frightened you just look at the state of fear or the fright just look at that by looking at that you are actually looking at the frightened one in you again he is dissolved he doesn't exist because all thoughts are non existent here they are even beneath the subatomic level this is actually a beautiful science beautiful in that sense it takes one to absolute realization in court cases they call it as when one is caught if a case can be registered or prosecution can be made they will call it as a water tight case it's a water tight case that means they are found to be guilty of those charges In the same way here all what we do actually in the form of sitting silent and still we are we are not allowing vaidegi in any form with a brand name or a brand thought branded thought to arise and to do any action psychologically that is what is actually a watcherless watching there is a room behind you behind that wall where prema madam is sitting now there may not be persons inside but in us when we close our eyes when we look within ourselves the seer also is like that in that state it's an empty house within all the five koshas are empty there is no thinker there is no feeler there is no experience at all then who watches what we are not here to watch anything at all we are just recognizing or remembering our deep sleep state did we feel the palpitation of our heart while we were asleep did we have any feeling of any sort that was troubling us during deep sleep physical or psychological or existentially anything any even witness like entity even as a corpse dead corpse the physical body lying on the floor of thought didn't feel nothing this remembrance this strong remembrance of this should always be there behind the seeing 
whenever you start that is the only reference point sleep deep sleep state didn't have a separate entity to undergo that state here so many entities we are filled with them throughout waking state especially waking state nothing more than that which is each passing thought or a feeling or an experience that there is call always constant chatter about that nature of experience and restriction of them restriction of them how it happens the moment you bring in a word to it the moment you conclude something within mostly we may not talk externally with anyone we would not have thought aloud okay thinking aloud but out of the heart we would have concluded one way or the other about an experience or a feeling or that moment that moment itself is always the moment of labeling concluding forming opinions rejecting modifying that inner center already it is it is volatile the inner gas was never left free in a relaxed state by and by we are bringing a completely a paradigm shift of relaxation into the inner core is just sitting in just be just be we should not try to know who is sitting in just be what does he want to achieve and all the more nothing related with progressing advancing enhancing the career of life psychological or on the monetary level or any friend nothing of this sir but when this is done it brings in such a confidence and such a complete the whole cosmos comes under your control in your waking state thoughtful activity when you are silent and still within you have the penetrative gaze of looking into things into the real nature of happening how will it unfold what will it do it's not that what will it do for me or for my family or for my future there won't be any for my future for my family or for me not of this sort because that is what you have been doing inside while you were in just be all your focus always should be on non central non centric selfless and by us and the peak of it always is achieved how is it achieved it is achieved by there is no person as a watcher watches all these things the realization is the inner i was not really by the the inner i was not really purnima only on the peripheral level only on the circumference we are in a body we are cased in a body gender as a human being as a name as particular characteristic traits bodily or psychologically all these things we just leave in the outside itself when you go inside you have a such an i it was not a person you didn't venture it with an entity a personality with you you just it's a very casual actually uh, i am terming it as when you turn within when you go within when you look within the such are all the definitions i'm going on making but it is such a non serious affair non serious non serious it is only non serious but it is not unimportant 
you get the difference of this yes yes please. if vivan goes for uh, this thing playing in the evening or something like that he goes absolutely casual no you need to teach him how you should relax before how you should to uh, warm up his muscles and do is always warmed up correct ready to bounce yes. and run away from home right yes similarly the psychological state of our existence should always be like this there should not be any th- because the moment a thought comes it it lays boundaries it circumscribes you into a boundary when you are within a limit there will always be extremes means only two sides right so two means you are already split thoughts cannot make you really undergo a feeling or even a pleasure even our material well being or health or money or whatever you call happiness as of this world nothing can be fully released because everything is circumscribed in thoughts thinking thoughts cannot give that and thoughts is the core enemy of the state that's why all the scriptures all the realist entities especially for a human being what is the main focus is you are not a thinking machine you don't need you don't need because you is not a thought you is something before thought but this uh, you our every day uh, waking state existence is 24 into 7 is even at the midnight when we have the sensation of going to the bathroom too we tend to think all the problems because that is what we 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 took it as something very real authentic how how did you take that uh, uh, to be real because you take your so you took your soul to be real see i am why they i am for me i am i am this i am this is a chatter is it a chatter this is what our seventh technique is it a chatter by thought is it a movement by feeling or is it a movement of an individual's experience is it is is this the way that uh, that thing uh, that thing is happening like this but is it real is it true is this the life i am living here in this body is it real is that life real again are you going to do something about that life or are you going to change nothing are you even going to ask that ask a question within you no what you are supposed to do simply live within without coining anything at all anything at all look at whatever that happens for the purpose of happening there just be there just be there the most uh, the, the highest thing what you should do is just be with the phantom like entity without him searching for anything stopping anything modifying anything he doesn't do anything at all but his presence is very essential if he becomes a, an investigator or an inquirer is it true deep sleep hasn't allowed anyone to remain there and where is the question of reaching that abode employing some other means like inquiry or looking at who is the onlooker even that is a fictional lie who ever 
investigates within he is also a fiction knowingly entertain that fiction remain with that fiction fiction it is in true fiction don't attribute any positivity or negativity aspire for one or the other any psychological manipulation about the seer about one who deploys that gaze is not real is not real we will go to the video part of it and see for the seventh technique guruji can i ask a question before we go on to the video yeah yeah ask me ma um guruji um say for instance there is uh, so many things that goes on with every day to day living mm. say for instance there there's, there's some sort of um a very tense situation that's coming or or uh, it's come to you uh, or it's come to me um mm. so how do i exactly have a watcherless like gaze um and and still continue to do what is necessary at that point of time say for example my car breaks down mm. um and how do i still uh, because at that point of time mm. one it will be like what what would i do next if if it's the first time that's happening to me the first thing that will come is i'll be anxious because i won't know what i need to do next but if if i have already had that experience then i will know the steps that i need to do but for 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 the first time that i'm seeing a new problem anxiety is the first thing that comes but at that particular point uh, how would i be, have a watcher like gates yeah watcher less like this yeah yeah it's a fantastic question beautiful question in the sense even an unexpected moment unexpected unexpectedly things happen do happen even for that you want to you want to get prepared in advance <laughs> he is the one who suffers who is searching for a ready made answer ready made way out to extricate coming out of a situation which is unwarranted or unexpected untimed unnatural even our way of using the word natural is already point one fully finished one finished product prototype has been set this is what they call it as past now in your country the sun has already set the night has arisen the night has come already. has the sun gone anywhere its absence is also there in the form of darkness no? yes can darkness happen without the disappearance of light can darkness alone can exist separately it is the absence of light that's all or the disappearance of light there is nothing exclusively a state of light exists nor there is a state of darkness exclusively exists as the as the morning is going to dawn in a very very nano level the sun's rays must be penetrating that part of the land no if you see if you watch a early morning sunrise exactly around right from 4:30 4:45 on which you just start watching for it you you would not have expected that it will be so bright by the, the moment the sun dawns on the eastern horizon 
Achan illumination. These things are happening physically, light and darkness. Do, why don't you doubt this must be this must be most intense when even psychologically. Psychologically, all the events are already happened in you. You want to have a chart, a road map. Your GPR is like map when your car is stuck, broke down, and something unexpectedly happened. You don't want the term at all. The thing should be unexpected. Everything should fall in place, and according to my knowledge, right? So everything, the the very this very question was asked from your knowledge, no? Whatever so far you have processed about handling events, handling emergency emergencies, how to, how to, all or how to, isn't it? Yes. Was there was there a Purnima who planned for anything when she fell asleep? How did she meet deep sleep? How did she meet deep sleep? Was Purnima and deep sleep were pre-planned? No. Hmm. It didn't. Did it happen unexpectedly? You it were very. Uh, There's no magic. So, uh, uh, you enjoy, no? You enjoy the closing of eyes. You enjoy dropping of all thoughts, feelings. Yes. Completely, the body is relaxed, didn't you? Yes. And in a while, absolute bliss, fully relaxed. Mm. Can relaxation can be brought by a method through step one, through step two, through step three? Anxiety can be removed like this. Anxiety is not our state at all. That we have to realize. <clears throat> our state is not the state of anxiety. Our state is not the state of tension, friction. If you if you take that word tension, it it starts with the verb tense. All the tense represents time. If you elongate something, even a rope, it goes to such an extent, then it snaps. In the same way, your tolerance is in certain thoughts, certain values. If someone touches you like that, say on the unexpected level, through an event, then you say, uh, I became tense. It was not handleable by me. I couldn't digest that moment. I ran, ran helter skelter. I couldn't think anything. That what all these words or statements within you show, these show you were very, very uh, acclimatized only with thinking. And you took thinking to be the real way of living without realizing they are actually the contrary. The contrary is the real thing. And no one teaches this. Suppose if we have started enjoying deep sleep and how you are getting into deep sleep and how you are emerging out of deep sleep through thinking, through time, through all this tension, anxiety, depression. Because for what do you, why do you get up? Because daily course is waiting for you. The course of life. Mm. Who are they? Purnimas in different levels of tension or 
anxiety or friction whatever you call it, stress same thing is again handled the handled the handled and you get trained and you say you, those things i am able to do and certain things when they happen what is the way whether this will have this will help uh, not only ordinary it will help the extraordinary the strength stems from the root what is the root of you silence and stillness of the deep sleep state that's why i am straight away giving the ultimate it's not i am giving i am showing you i am letting you to realize letting you your inner being to recognize you are the source of absolute beautiful relaxation and that relaxation is not bound by even physical birth and physical death because you you didn't feel that you were born when you were asleep so everything is associated associated with the birth of purnima in the sense of a thought in the sense of a and an unexpected emergency that has happened to her so you dichotomize purnima with lot of happenings also you go cluttered who has got lost in you in this clutter for this you don't have to do anything at all what do what we say you just be don't judge let there be clutter within you be there it will go on its own because it is not permanent it is not true also it is not real right all your thoughts are not real all entities all personalities of purnima within her are not real not even one purnima if you see on with your identification with that body and form and that is also not real that gives uh, space to lot of purnimas to well within and see those purnimas say that i will retrieve you i will help you this thought will help you through this thought i will come in this way and i will help you through this thought i will i will make you anxiety free i will make you stress free immediately you call 10 persons on the phone what am i to do i am stuck here you are frantically seeking that help someone rush here save me i don't know your method or your way you need not know anything at all mm-hmm. for really for to come out of anything you don't need to know anything at all you have to be you have to stay still not seeking anything at all and you have to see the beauty of that uh, living mm. you get this yes you you so, will have ji, uh, uh, tell me ma tell me. like from what you are saying guru ji what i am mm. like you know uh, understanding is that resistance like you mm. know nothing unexpected should happen to me and like you know nothing mm. untoward it happens to me that resistance is also a mere thought that one also we should just say we should what may whatever may happen we just have to be we just have to yes. be without yes. think that's also just a thought yes. that this is difficult the, the toughness is coming on me is a thought yes. so i yes. have to think i have to not even think i have to yes. just be no it is not the question of you are thinking it will bounce on you it will trust itself on you but you should become so indifferent you should mm. become so indifferent knowingly indifferent suppose the case she has quoted suppose sudden i wanted to go to some place on the way i got stuck the car car got stuck it got burst or punctured or something like that it's a highway this side and that side no one okay you remain you remain this this thing has happened to me 
your your mother knows ringeri hmm. once i took my wife to mangalore airport from ringeri it is 100 kilometers it's a dense western ghats they call it as kudre muk forest kudre muk hmm. means it's like a horse Oh, face, face, maze. Kudre Muk Forest. Both sides it will be closed. While entering the forest range, you will have to take a token, security, and you will have to return it there because no signals you will get. My car got stuck, and it was December with a chilly night. The, the, the night has uh, set in. and the car didn't start at all i am so acquainted with the inner seeing i never sought anyone inside of me sought help in any form i always surrendered or yielded to whatever that was unfolding within me whether it is blankness or darkness or silence or stillness without even naming them i went to such heights of flavor and bliss the same thing was actually there at that night also it was around 7 7:15 night already pitch dark we i told my wife because only one way road to get down the mountains forest range i will have to travel another 90 kilometers and the light the dashboard light shows that there was no engine oil at all which i didn't notice before starting so what happened is suddenly i was actually seeing the emptiness and silence and stillness only within me suddenly what happened was i was about to uh, put the car with uh, that a uh, signal standard signal uh, this thing light and to ask for some help the passer by cars what happened was uh, suddenly a group of boys between 16 to 20 each one uh, speaking different different uh, southern languages so one is talking malayalam one is talking kannada one is talking tamil they jumped and uh, it's it was like a uh mechanic uh, car they they just came and parked in front of my car and said uncle uncle what am i what am i since i was very familiar with the inner stillness and silence i was very sure that these are not really boys this is playing with me the thing is playing with me it happened so also what what they said uncle don't worry don't worry you have water bottles yes of course i have 10 liters 15 liters of two bottle give me what they did they opened the bonnet it is it is already with a coolant car never radiator heat and we will have to uh, apply water into it to make it cool the such a, such a machine it was not such a, an engine what they did is at the pl- in the place where we would put the engine oil they filled up all the water about 15 liters of water now you start up two boys were standing by the window side and two were in the front i started started don't worry uncle it will go get down the hills after 50 or 60 kilometers you will see a motel there you take another big jars jugs of 15 15 liters put more water which we obediently did we will follow you like that they said they never followed us because that was the one route we never saw those uh, guys or the car following us because we i could travel only 30 kilometers 40 kilometers speed they should have followed us but they didn't follow we came down my wife also she also you also play some water like that and we kept we poured all the 25 30 liters water until next day morning we went to a hotel we stayed there next day morning i took the car to the airport i did i dropped there 
then on route i will have to return back to the 100 kilometers in the same forest area that time i went to that garage renault logan garage mahindra then we checked them they mounted the car on the thing they opened that engine oil segment about 2 uh, liters of water only water was coming out what did you do you put uh, water they were all astonished they dried every uh, last drop of water and they have put the first class oil some 5 liters or 6 liters of oil into that they ran the engine they took the vehicle for 3 or 4 hours they took about 1 hour more than 1 and a half hours and then only let me go happens we will have to be patient this life is to be not for judgments forming opinion even in that present of fight complexes conflicts okay that's the challenge i would totally deem it miracle eh huh? eh huh? i would deem it miracle <laughs> like you know your situation yeah <laughs> yes. anyone anyone would anyone would even my wife was terribly frightened what are you going to do you are going to leave the car in this dense forest and she she she, she had to take that flight next morning 7:30 am flight we we'll have to see another two hours travel is there so so many things were going on there in mind i said but i was totally here the inner inner abode is without any time compulsion without anything at all without any boundaries without any barriers absolutely truth truth alone but we mistake truth for only thoughts we only take thoughts forms feelings ideas complexes because we are lost in this physical body with that name and form this is what i had given as the last technique you just read that technique and start doing it on your own okay shall we go purima are you clear now yes yes very clear yeah 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 you 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 seek that strength of yes tolerating all that is going on within you yeah all that is don't uh, only this uh, these are all good things let me think on these lines let me not think mm. on these lines I'll only reject these things mm. no 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 we can choose everything mm. is worthless yeah everything is worthless only surrender is the best means best method okay. only method okay yes yes Today we will go to the. This is the seventh technique, self inquiry technique seven. We will just see what we tried in the sixth one. This is fifth. In the fifth, we had stated when we bring back the witness like authentic being into our waking state life through staying in just be twenty four into seven, we attain all prosperities in our lives. Okay. that is witness like phantom like not seriously hmm? then mm-hmm. came the sixth technique this is the sixth technique 24 into 7 being a just be watcher within actually is that the inner seeing is not under the influence of any past experience feeling thought i didn't want a conclusion for my unexpected happening when i was caught okay i didn't want a relief i neither i wanted something i should get stuck i just kept on surrendering my personal choices mm-hmm. absolute surrender true surrender okay is not under the influence of any past experience feeling thought this is what is called as living in a watcherless witness like energies 
this will make one central like shine in excellence in his day to day life purification of intellect lays foundation for enlightenment see this will correct auto correct the waking state things okay we are right. not doing for correcting our waking state things because waking state things are not true one who is wakeful is not true okay one who has woken up is not true this is the current technique Can you please read this truly which as our life makes our day to day living and what is that life uh, truly which as our life is all something as life what is that our life mm. that makes our day to day living moment to moment living only thoughts feelings experiences emotions judgments conclusions and what is that life mm. it is a repeat performance that's all however uh, how much ever you like that or you reject neither of them you should not do neither you reject nor you should seek for it a state of even observerless observation okay this is what you have to do that is what is constituting the complete cosmos not only your life your events okay this trust alone it is not that you are getting the trust through doing this you are actually getting out of the way where already trust is lying in <laughs> like a mountain okay yes this is what you have to do you you can start doing it we will meet next week sure. okay that's good thank you guruji thank, thank you. you for your time thank, thank you, you. Guruji. yeah blessings blessings